So, like a lot of people, I've got my Twitter archive, I've uh, got the zip, I've extracted it, and um, I've uploaded the files uh, to my own web space. So I've got all my tweets, I can have a look at those. But obviously not everyone has their own web space, but did you know you can upload it to Google Drive? So here we get, again, we have all our tweets, it's hosted by Google. Um, all I've done is added a folder, made that folder public, and then you can have uh, the data here. But one of the issues is that this is going to go stale, so after a while I would need to go back to Twitter and ask for a new copy of my archive and re-upload it. So to get around this I've come up with this um, little Google spreadsheet template and what this does is actually keeps your archive fresh for you. So it goes off and fetches the data from Twitter, adds it back into the store, and um, so you've got a nice uh, fresh set of data. So to use this, here's how you set it up. You make a copy of the spreadsheet, which will take a second or two. And once we have a copy of the template, we need to wait for Google to catch up. Which it has. So we need to first, we need to authorize it. So the spreadsheet's gonna basically store some data, it's gonna write some data, and it's gonna do this uh, when you're away from your machine, which is great. So we've authorized it, and now we need to add in the menu. So we need to first set the path of where our archive is at. So it's basically this bit of the URL, so you go to your folder, grab the URL, just the the, uh, the code bit, and then because we're using the Twitter API, it's using version 1.1 of the API, the latest version, we need to register an uh, application and put in uh, a key and a secret the instructions are there to do it. I'm just going to do that and come back in a second. So I've uh, entered those details I don't want you to see them. Um, and now the next thing we need to do is authorize it. So now we need to create the connection between uh, this application and Twitter. So we need to authorize it. We'll click yes. So that's that done. Just to show you how this works, um, Twitter has all the data in this folder here. So if I go and here you see I've got data up to um, November and I can update the archive now. So it's going off, collecting the data, it's rewriting extra files as it needs it all to your Google Drive. And it's finished. So we've got a login here. So it's actually pulled back 55 um, new tweets. And you see it's created the file, so we've got one for January, and we should have December, yeah, we've got December there as well. So all the data's there. Let's see if I can refresh this. And there we have it. Something I said two hours ago. Enjoy! Oh yeah, before I forget, uh, one last little thing you can do on this is uh, turn an auto refresh so every day it'll go off and collect the data so you don't even need the spreadsheet open it'll happily do that and if you ever want to turn it off you can as well so there you go have fun